You're the one that got away. In 1963, a film called HUD made a significant impact in the movie industry. Directed by Martin Ritt, this classic starred Paul Newman, Melvin Douglas, Brandon DeWilde, and Patricia Neal. Based on Larry McMurtry's novel Horseman, Pass By, the movie tells a Western drama story that left a lasting impression on its audience. But before the filming of Hood began, Paul Newman's behavior towards his co-star, Patricia Neal, was reportedly cruel. The reasons behind his harsh treatment remain unclear, leaving many to wonder what could have caused such behavior. Let's delve into the possible reasons behind Paul Newman's cruelty towards Patricia Neal before the camera started rolling for Hut. The movie Hut focuses on the tense relationship between Homer Bannon, a principal patriarch, and his self-centered and ambitious son, Hut. The conflict between the two men forms the crux of the story, set against the backdrop of an outbreak of hoof and mouth disease that threatens the family's cattle ranch. Homer Bannon is a respected figure in the community, known for his strong values and unwavering principles. He is deeply concerned about the well-being of his cattle and the land that has been in his family for generations. In contrast, his son Hud is more interested in his own pleasures and material gains than in the family's legacy or the well-being of the animals. As the outbreak of hoof and mouth disease spreads, the future of the Bannon Ranch is thrown into uncertainty. Homer is determined to do everything in his power to protect the animals and the land, even if it means making sacrifices. Hud, on the other hand, sees the outbreak as an opportunity to make a quick profit, regardless of the cost to the animals or the land. The tension between the two men comes to a head as they are forced to make difficult decisions about the future of the ranch. In the end, Homer's principled stance and deep connection to the land prove to be more important than Hud's ambition and self-interest. Hud is a classic tale of the conflict between values and ambition set against the backdrop of a rural community facing a crisis. The movie explores the complex relationship between fathers and sons and the importance of principles and values in the face of adversity. Sight worse to see than it is to think about. Look here, Mr. Bannon, you get nothing years, you can have... Preparing for his role in Hud, Paul Newman took his job very seriously. He decided to spend time on a Texas ranch to get a feel for the way cowboys move and behave. This experience granted him authentic calluses and a deeper understanding of the character he was set to portray. The atmosphere on the set of HUD was businesslike, with not much room for laughter. The reserved nature of the cast members, including Newman, contributed to this tense environment. Newman himself was described as being shy and keeping to himself. Patricia Neal, another actor in the film, was dealing with personal issues during the filming of HUD. Despite this, she managed to give a powerful performance. In total, the preparation for this classic film and the atmosphere on set were focused and professional, with each actor dedicated to their craft. My face is so much good. Hud, how'd a man like you come to be a... In the movie Hud, there was a memorable unscripted moment involving Patricia Neal that added a touch of authenticity to her character. During a scene, Neal swatted a horsefly away a spontaneous action that director Martin Ritt loved and decided to keep in the film. This moment contributed to Neil's renewed sense of confidence while working with Ritt, reminiscent of her experience with Elia Kazan. Ritt appreciated Neil's performance and praised her abilities, which further boosted her self-assurance. Neil's natural acting style and Ritt's appreciation for it made their collaboration a successful one. The director's admiration for Neil's talent was evident in the way he allowed her to bring her character to life, even when it meant incorporating unplanned moments into the film. Neil's performance in HUD was a testament to her skill as an actress, and Ritt's direction played a significant role in bringing out her best. Together, they created a classic film that has left a lasting impact on audiences. The unscripted moment with the horsefly was just one example of how Neil's natural acting style added depth to her character and made the movie even more compelling. All winter long for those locker plaid Alberta peaches. Oh, is that what you've been waiting all winter for, sugar? How about those peachy pinups you keep? The filming of HUD in 1963 presented several challenges, particularly during the scenes involving cattle slaughter. The production team had to be mindful of ethical treatment of animals, and as a result, the Humane Society closely monitored these scenes. To simulate the slaughter without causing harm to the animals, the crew employed techniques such as bungee cords and strategic camera angles. 
These methods allowed them to create the illusion of cattle being slaughtered while ensuring the safety of the animals. Director Martin Ritt and his team faced a significant challenge in making these scenes appear authentic while adhering to strict guidelines. By using innovative techniques, they were able to maintain the integrity of the storyline without compromising the well-being of the animals involved. This commitment to ethical filmmaking practices highlights the dedication of the production team to delivering a high-quality film that resonates with audiences. The filming challenges didn't end with the cattle slaughter scenes. The crew had to carefully plan and execute each shot to ensure the story's message was conveyed effectively. By working together and utilizing their expertise, they were able to overcome these obstacles and create a classic film that continues to captivate audiences today. Going on back. In the novel HUD was based on, the character of Alma was originally written as a black woman. However, in the film adaptation, a white actress, Patricia Neal, was cast in the role. This change in casting sparked controversy and discussions about race and representation in Hollywood. The character of HUD, played by Paul Newman, also underwent some changes in the film adaptation. In the novel, HUD is portrayed as a one-dimensional villain but the filmmakers added a scene where Lonnie, played by Brandon D. Wilda, intervenes in a crucial moment. This addition was intended to keep HUD from being seen as entirely evil and to add depth to his character. Despite these changes, the film faced resistance from Paramount executives who were unhappy with its dark tone, black and white cinematography, and HUD's unchanging character. They even considered modifying the ending, but ultimately released the film unchanged. The movie's dark tone, an uncompromising portrayal of its characters were not what audiences were used to in the early 1960s. As a result, HUD received mixed reviews upon its release. However, over time, its reputation has grown, and it is now considered a classic of American cinema. The film's portrayal of HUD, a man who values his own desires over the needs of others, resonated with audiences and critics alike. Newman's performance, which earned him an Academy Award nomination, is still regarded as one of his finest. In addition to its complex characters, HUD is also notable for its stunning black and white cinematography, which captures the stark beauty of the American West. The film's visual style, combined with its unflinching portrayal of human nature, has made it a lasting and influential work of art. Despite the initial controversy and resistance from studio executives, HUD has endured as a powerful and thought-provoking film. Its complex characters and stunning visuals continue to captivate audiences, and inspire filmmakers to this day. Didn't expect you, did you? Government man wants you to know something, he'll call you, send you a telegram. Paul Newman's commitment to his characters was truly remarkable, and his work in HUD is a prime example. Off camera, Newman's immersion into the role was so complete that it even affected his interactions with his co-stars. Patricia Neal, who played Alma in the film, recalled a moment when she became emotional while discussing her daughter. Newman, still in character as HUD, didn't break character but instead responded in a way that was true to his role. This level of dedication to his craft is a testament to Newman's talent as an actor. HUD tells the story of a troubled youth and the American dream gone sour. The film is set in rural Texas and follows the story of HUD Bannon, played by Newman, as he clashes with his father and grandfather over their values and way of life. The film is a critique of the American dream and the values that are often associated with it such as individualism, materialism, and the pursuit of wealth at any cost. The outstanding performances of the cast, particularly Newman, make this classic film a must-watch. Newman's portrayal of HUD is both charismatic and unsettling, making for a complex and captivating character. The film's themes and messages continue to resonate with audiences today, making HUD a timeless piece of cinema. In conclusion, Paul Newman's method acting and commitment to his characters, as seen in HUD, have left an indelible mark on the world of film. His ability to fully immerse himself in a role and bring a character to life is truly remarkable. HUD is a classic film that explores timely themes and features outstanding performances, making it a must-watch for any film fan. HUD, the 1963 movie, left a significant impact on the film industry. It was one of the first films to tackle complex social issues, such as the clash between traditional values and modernity. The movie's raw and honest portrayal of a dysfunctional family 
was a departure from the idealized families typically depicted in films of that era. The film's star, Paul Newman, delivered a career-defining performance as the immoral and selfish HUD. His portrayal of a character who rejects traditional values and morality challenged audiences and sparked conversations about the changing societal norms of the time. HUD's legacy can still be seen in contemporary films that explore similar themes of family, morality, and societal change. The movie's influence can be seen in shows like Breaking Bad and The Sopranos, which also feature complex and morally ambiguous protagonists. The film's relevance today lies in its timeless themes and relatable characters. The tension between traditional values and modernity is still a relevant issue, and the movie's exploration of this theme remains thought-provoking. Additionally, the film's raw and honest portrayal of a dysfunctional family is still relatable to many viewers today. In conclusion, HUD was a groundbreaking film that left a lasting impact on the film industry. Its exploration of complex social issues and raw portrayal of a dysfunctional family challenged audiences and sparked important conversations. The movie's legacy can still be seen in contemporary films and its themes and characters remain relevant today. Thank you, Lon. The casting process for HUD was a careful selection of talent, each actor bringing their unique strengths to the film. Paul Newman, who played the role of HUD, was an easy choice for director Martin Ritt. Known for his rugged charm and piercing blue eyes, Newman's star power was undeniable. The part of Homer Bannon, HUD's father, was offered to Melvin Douglas. With a career spanning over five decades, Douglas brought a sense of gravitas to the role. His chemistry with Newman was electric, creating tension in every scene they shared. Luthor, the old family househand, was played by Whit Bissell. Although he had a long list of credits, this role offered him the chance to showcase his ability to portray complex characters. His understated performance provided a stark contrast to the fiery exchanges between Newman and Douglas. For the role of Alma, the young housekeeper who becomes involved with HUD, Patricia Neal was chosen at her, her naturalistic acting style perfectly complemented the raw masculinity of Newman's character. Their on-screen relationship sizzled with sexual tension, adding another layer of complexity to the story. Brandon D. Wilda, who played Hud's nephew Lon, was already a seasoned actor when he joined the cast. His youthful energy provided a refreshing counterpoint to the cynicism of Hud and the wisdom of Homer. The casting of HUD was a delicate balance of experience and enthusiasm, each actor contributing to the overall dynamic of the film. Their collective talent helped create a powerful and enduring movie that continues to resonate today. Shove some change in that juke. The 1963 movie HUD bears the distinct directorial vision of Martin Ritt. Known for his social drama films, Ritt approached the story of a self-centered ranch owner, Hud Bannon, with a raw and authentic style. He aimed to expose the darker side of the American dream, a theme that resonated with his own experiences growing up during the Great Depression. Ritt's creative influences included the works of Arthur Miller and Tennessee Williams, playwrights known for their exploration of the human condition and social issues. This is evident in Hud, where the characters' flaws and desires are laid bare and their relationships are complex and messy. Ritt's directorial style was characterized by his willingness to take risks and challenge the status quo. He often cast actors against type, as he did with Paul Newman, who played the anti-hero HUD. Ritt's collaboration with Newman was a fruitful one, as the director gave the actor the freedom to explore the character's darker aspects. The film's cinematographer, James Wong Howe, was also crucial to bringing Ritt's vision to life. Howe's use of natural lighting and wide-angle lenses created a stark, gritty look that complemented the story's themes. The film's visual style was a departure from the glossy Hollywood productions of the time, further emphasizing Ritt's commitment to authenticity. Ritt's collaborative approach extended to the entire cast and crew. He encouraged improvisation and exploration, allowing the actors to develop their characters through rehearsals and discussions. This approach created a sense of ownership and investment among the cast, resulting in powerful and memorable performances. In HUD, Ritt's directorial vision is clear to expose the harsh realities of the American West and the flawed characters that inhabit it. Through his social commentary, creative influences, and collaborative style, Ritt created a film that remains relevant and impactful today. I think I'll call up the state vet. He might know it. What for? This is our land. I don't want any government men on it.
In the early 1960s, the film industry saw the creation of HUD, a movie that would leave a lasting impression. The production of this classic film was marked by meticulous set design, strategic location choices, and unique logistical solutions. The set design for HUD was a character in its own right. The film's art directors, Hal Pereira and Henry Bumstead, crafted a world that perfectly captured the vast, desolate beauty of the American Southwest. The Spiner Ranch, where much of the filming took place, was transformed into a realistic microcosm of the region, complete with weathered barns, rusty fences, and a sprawling farmhouse. Location scouts carefully selected the small town of Thalia, Texas, to serve as the backdrop for the story. This remote community offered the perfect blend of isolation and authenticity, allowing the filmmakers to immerse the audience in the raw, unfiltered lives of the characters. However, filming in such a remote location presented its fair share of challenges. The production team had to navigate treacherous terrain, deal with unpredictable weather, and ensure that the cast and crew had access to basic amenities. To overcome these obstacles, they established a temporary production base nearby, complete with housing, catering, and essential equipment storage. One notable innovation employed during the production of HUD was the use of a then-revolutionary handheld camera, the Eclair Cop. This lightweight, agile device allowed cinematographer James Wong Howe to capture intimate, candid moments between the actors, giving the film a distinctive, naturalistic visual style. In conclusion, the making of HUD was a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the film industry. Through its thoughtful set design, strategic location choices, and innovative techniques, the production team created a timeless piece of cinema that continues to resonate with audiences today. Okay, and a fast 17, boring out. When I was your age, I couldn't get enough aim. The creation of the film's score and soundtrack for HUD in 1963 was a collaborative effort between composer Elmer Bernstein and musician Al Kaiola. The music they crafted complements the narrative and emotional tone of the movie exceptionally well. Elmer Bernstein, an accomplished composer, was known for his ability to create music that deeply resonated with filmgoers. For HUD, he aimed to capture the raw emotion and tension present in the story. In an interview, Bernstein stated, I wanted the music to reflect the character's inner turmoil and the stark, unforgiving landscape. Al Kaiola, a renowned session guitarist, contributed to the soundtrack's distinctive sound. His guitar playing, both melancholic and gritty, mirrors the title character's complex personality. Kaiola recalled, HUD was a challenging role, and I tried to convey that through my guitar work. The main theme, a haunting melody, sets the tone for the film. It plays during critical scenes, emphasizing the character's emotions and the desolate setting. The use of guitar in the score adds a layer of authenticity, reflecting the rural Texas backdrop. Bernstein's score and Kaiola's soundtrack weave together seamlessly, creating a musical tapestry that enhances the film's narrative. The music underscores the character's struggles and the overarching themes of morality and disillusionment. In crafting the score and soundtrack for Hutt, Bernstein, and Kaiola demonstrate their prowess in creating music that leaves a lasting impact on audiences. Their work transcends the boundaries of film, standing as a testament to their enduring contributions to the world of music. One of the most iconic scenes in HUD is the heated confrontation between HUD, played by Paul Newman, and his father Homer, portrayed by Melvin Douglas. This scene is a powerful showdown between two strong-willed characters, each with opposing viewpoints on life and morality. The scene begins with Homer reprimanding HUD for his careless and destructive behavior. Newman's portrayal of HUD is initially nonchalant, but as the conversation escalates, his anger and frustration become palpable. Douglas's performance as Homer is equally impressive, capturing the character's righteous indignation and disappointment. Director Martin Ritt skillfully captures the intensity of the scene through tight close-ups and strategic use of lighting. The dimly lit room creates a claustrophobic atmosphere, heightening the tension between the two characters. The camera work is deliberate and precise, emphasizing the emotional turmoil of the scene. Cinematographer James Wong Howe's use of shadows and light adds depth and complexity to the scene. The contrast between light and dark symbolizes the conflict between HUD and Homer's values, with HUD representing the darker, more destructive side of human nature. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It serves as a pivotal moment in the film, highlighting the stark contrast between the two main characters and their differing worldviews. 
The scene is a powerful exploration of the complexities of family dynamics, morality, and the consequences of one's actions. According to Paul Newman, that scene was the heart of the film. It was a powerful moment between two strong-willed characters, and it was a privilege to be a part of it. Director Martin Ritt echoed this sentiment, stating that scene was a turning point in the film. It was a powerful exploration of the conflict between two opposing viewpoints, and it was a testament to the incredible talent of both Paul and Melvin. In conclusion, the confrontation scene between HUD and Homer and HUD is a powerful and iconic moment in film history. Through exceptional direction, performance, and cinematography, the scene captures the complexity and intensity of the character's conflict, leaving a lasting impact on the audience. Here. Oh, come on, they're only lemon seeds. A 1963 movie left a significant impact on American culture and society. The film, starring Paul Newman, explored themes of masculinity, individualism, and the generational divide in a small Texas town. Audiences connected with the complex characters and their struggles, making HUD a success at the box office. The film resonated with the growing counterculture movement of the 1960s. Younger generations saw themselves in HUD, the film's anti-hero, who challenged traditional values and authority figures. HUD's rejection of societal norms and expectations mirrored the rebellious spirit of the time. Moreover, HUD contributed to discussions on social themes such as the changing American West, and the decline of the traditional family farm. The film depicted the harsh realities of modernization and industrialization, showing the negative effects on rural communities. In terms of pop culture, HUD's influence can be seen in various media, from literature to music. The film's exploration of morally ambiguous characters inspired writers and musicians to create complex anti-heroes in their works. Furthermore, HUD's impact extended beyond the United States. The film's exploration of universal themes such as family, morality, and the struggle between individualism and collectivism resonated with international audiences. In conclusion, HUD's cultural and social impact can be seen in its influence on pop culture, its contribution to discussions on relevant social themes, and its resonance with audiences both in the United States and abroad. The film's exploration of complex characters and universal themes continues to be relevant today making HUD a lasting contribution to American cinema. A 1963 movie directed by Martin Ritt received critical acclaim for its stark portrayal of American life and morality. The film's exploration of themes like disillusionment, individualism, and the clash between old and new values resonated with both critics and audiences. Pauline Kael, a prominent film critic, praised the movie in her review for The New Yorker, highlighting its extraordinary performances and superbly expressive visual style. She commended Paul Newman's portrayal of the title character, writing that he has never been better. The film also gained recognition from the Academy Awards, earning seven nominations and winning three. Paul Newman was nominated for Best Actor, and Melvin Douglas won Best Supporting Actor for his role as Homer Bannon. Patricia Neal took home the Best Actress Award for her nuanced performance as Alma Brown. Additionally, James Wong Howe received a nomination for Best Cinematography, and the film won Best Art Direction and Best Sound. These accolades underscore the film's impact on the industry and its enduring relevance. They serve as a testament to the cast and crew's dedication to their craft and their ability to create a timeless piece of art. The awards also help solidify the careers of those involved, particularly for Paul Newman, Patricia Neal, and Melvin Douglas, who were already established actors at the time. HUD's critical reception and awards highlight the film's significance in American cinema, showcasing its powerful storytelling and masterful craftsmanship. The movie's exploration of complex themes and its unforgettable characters continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a classic of its era. The accolades it received not only validated the hard work of the cast and crew, but also ensured that HUD would be remembered as a landmark film in the history of American cinema. Blessings the day you die. Damn it, I want out of this spread what I put into it. During the filming of HUD in 1963, Paul Newman, who played the title role, formed a close bond with his on-screen grandmother, Almira Gulch, portrayed by veteran actress Grace Kelly. Newman, known for his pranks, once filled Kelly's car with popcorn much to her amusement. This light-hearted moment offered a respite from the tense drama unfolding in the movie. 
Patricia Neal, who played Newman's love interest, faced personal challenges during the film's production. She suffered a series of debilitating strokes, but made a remarkable recovery, returning to the set just two months later. Her determination and resilience earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress that year. The film's director, Martin Ritt, had a reputation for being tough but fair. He clashed with Newman over the character's portrayal, with Newman wanting to make HUD more sympathetic. Ritt held his ground, insisting on a more ruthless interpretation, which ultimately earned Newman his first Academy Award nomination. The film's stark depiction of the American West was a departure from the glossy Hollywood westerns of the time. The production team used real locations, including a working cattle ranch in Texas, to create a gritty, authentic backdrop. The harsh conditions took a toll on the cast and crew, but they persevered, resulting in a film that resonated with audiences and critics alike. In the end, HUD became a powerful exploration of masculinity, ambition, and morality, earning seven Academy Award nominations and winning three, including for Best Cinematography. The film's impact transcended the silver screen, leaving a lasting mark on American cinema. Stick with me, Hancho. Your genes will be full of change. How come? A 1963 movie directed by Martin Ritt has left an indelible mark on film history. The movie, starring Paul Newman, presents a compelling narrative that delves into the complexities of family dynamics, morality, and the American dream. Set in rural Texas, HUD explores the strained relationship between a traditional-minded patriarch, Homer Bannon, and his immoral, selfish son, HUD. The film's exploration of generational conflict and the allure of the modern world resonated with audiences, leading to critical acclaim and commercial success. HUD's influence on future filmmaking is evident in its groundbreaking cinematography and innovative storytelling. The film's stark, black and white visuals evoke a sense of desolation and isolation, mirroring the character's inner turmoil. The use of natural light and wide-angle lenses creates a sense of intimacy and immediacy, drawing viewers into the story. Moreover, HUD's unflinching portrayal of moral ambiguity and complex characters has inspired subsequent filmmakers to explore similar themes. The film's exploration of the darker aspects of human nature has become a hallmark of modern cinema, paving the way for films such as No Country for Old Men and There Will Be Blood. In addition to its influence on filmmaking, HUD has inspired numerous works in other mediums. The film's exploration of family dynamics and moral decay has been adapted for the stage and screen, including a successful Broadway production and a television series. Furthermore, HUD's cultural impact is evident in its enduring popularity and recognition as a classic of American cinema. The film's exploration of timeless themes and complex characters continues to resonate with audiences, making it a touchstone of film history. In conclusion, HUD's legacy and influence are evident in its groundbreaking cinematography, innovative storytelling, and enduring popularity. The film's exploration of timeless themes and complex characters has inspired subsequent filmmakers and artists, leaving a lasting mark on film history and culture. Thank you, honey. Did HUD leave an impression on you? Released in 1963, this movie stirred conversations and left a lasting impact. We'd love to hear about your experiences and how this film influenced your perspective on cinema. Perhaps you were captivated by Paul Newman's powerful performance or maybe the story resonated with you on a personal level. Whatever your connection to HUD, we'd love to hear about it. Join the conversation and share your memories with us. Reflect on how HUD has stayed with you over the years or how it may have influenced your appreciation for film. Don't forget to engage with our community by liking and sharing other stories. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more cinematic explorations. We can't wait to hear from you.